then check this out. Whoa, that is a fucking lie. Hey you doing guys, this is Zerai here. Today I wanted to talk about one particular article that pretty much mentions will Cyberpunk 2077 be a disappointment? Now, this is not coming from me, this is coming from Chris Mo uh, Mason? Mason? Hopefully I'm not butchering the name. He published it on July 9, 2019, this article regarding the Cyberpunk. And, uh, you know, he gets into the facts saying that, you know, why this game could be turning out of a disappointment. I'm not going to be reading out a whole article because, you know, that loses the whole premise of it being there. So I will leave li links down below in the description for you to read it alone if you would like that. But I did pull out some quotes that I thought were necessary and I wanted you know have a bit of a discussion regarding it as well. Now, there are some things I'm going to defend the CD Projekt Red. There are some things that actually make sense. And that, uh, okay, so let's just get in. So one of the things he mentions, it's pretty interesting to watch how Cyberpunk 2077 has gone from being the darling of the development to a source of the recent controversy. Heck, if the company hadn't uh, trotted out the actor Keanu Reeves, it's a hard time to tell what a story about the Cyberpunk 2077 would be right now. So why does sudden change? Now this quote is more or less, it makes sense in some cases, but also it doesn't. Now, regarding the controversy, I really don't see how that is a uh, will turn out the game as a disappointment. I think the controversy is actually a good thing. I personally think if there's a controversy regarding this, as far as we already know, regarding the cyberpunk, such as like maybe there's a group of gangs called animals. Yeah, and that was a controversy, and yet this is a bad thing? No, I actually think this is an excellent thing. So I think this actually only boosts the uh, sales and the uh, respect level for Cyberpunk 2077, especially CD, uh, CD Projekt Red themselves. Now I understand that development is hard and everything like that, and uh, Mike himself is also pretty much the creator of this game, and uh, you know he's a part of this, and that's awesome. There were a lot of controversies regarding like, well, Mike was never a part of this, it's complete bullshit, blah, blah, even though Mike him himself said it. What? That's horseshit. I've been a part of this production team and the development of Cyberpunk 2077 all, all year long, and you know, every every whenever so often I try to do, I, will, I would like to be a part of this game development. But even though they are creating this game, Cyberpunk, in Poland, but though he lives in America because he's got business down there, he would already move to Poland. He, he himself said it with his own words, just like that. Well, not exactly, but just similar anyway. So yeah, I don't see how those are the controversies as well. I think it's just only controversies is a good thing in some cases. There are some other controversies, like maybe there's a poster, cyberpunk poster, right? There's a chick or shemale or whatever with a big giant dick anyway. And uh, how, I, why is that a bad thing? I actually talked about it already. I really did not see how that was a bad thing. And it's been also addressed by the uh, artist herself. She said like she has a gorgeous body and uh, the picture and what it represents is there. It makes it there's a meaning behind it and it makes sense. And so I don't see how is that much of a controversy in this case at all. And still, and so I don't know how people will think about it and how they will take this. Now, next uh, quote he mentions anyway, is Cyberpunk 2077 going to be less than we wanted? It depends on our expectations. And so, yes. He also gets into uh, a little bit later on regarding a similar case. I will read it out again. So the answer to the uh, the answer, right? The central question of this article: Yes, Cyberpunk 2077 will be a disappointment, but that's because of the gamers' expectations are pretty much all over the place, and the devs haven't really done much to pull that back. Not. I don't believe that could be the case. In some cases, that's true. In a lot more cases, not really. The devs that has not pulled it back, I don't particularly think it's true because I think whenever they've been asked the question and whenever do they do answer it, they always say like yes, no, or a chance, or maybe, or they just simply say no comment for an example. Such as like say Cyberpunk's multiplayer, right? They never said yes, they never said no, but they're not saying either one. Because they're not certain yet themselves if they would like to implement it or not. Now we already know, and it's already given, that it's not going to be coming on day one as soon as Cyberpunk itself releases in April. So don't expect it then, because it will definitely take much longer for it to be developed and created. 
So, you know, that's not really a bad thing as well to say, but also um, the expectations, that's yes, that can kill any game to be honest with you. If you're putting in because like you've been waiting for so long for this game and not knowing Cyberpunk as well, we knew it since like 2012 or something that it's already been in development and it's been worked at for like, what is it now, uh, six, seven years maybe, something like that, right? And it's a very, very long time to be waiting for this game. Like at this point, it's going to be eight years, maybe even longer in some cases, of the development. Well, full development wasn't that long though. But still, but still, like after that, uh, we've actually got an opportunity to see what it is all about. The expectations were changed a bit, and uh, maybe they were increased, maybe they were decreased for the, uh, some other people and stuff. And uh, also, the, here's an inter interesting part. I'll get into the expectations a little bit more further down. This the last start, uh, quote comes from this article. It is somewhat surreal that the game is coming out next year, and we really don't know that much about it. Again, this goes back to the expectation point of this article, which is that if you don't clue gamers into to what they would uh, should expect, their imaginations will fill in the gaps. That's not. Again, I don't believe that's true. They filled in all the gaps. Well, obviously they're not gonna fill in all the gaps because spoilers number one and the other thing keeping it surprising and the. Uh, for the people to enjoy when they get their hands on the game and on top of that at the end of August We will find out even more gameplay raw gameplay mind you I personally think there were plenty of stuff already showcased now sure people want more and that makes sense because they're very very hyped and excited Like I'm one of those people as well. I want to see more of this game because uh, I love this game I'm already in love with it. I get the collector's edition and cannot personally wait to get it into my into my hands. Played the hell out of this game and it's gonna be a, f a hell of a fun game to play. And so I don't personally consider that being a bad thing personally, but because you know after Witcher 3, CD Projekt Red, you know, <laughs> they kind of put their own standards very very high for themselves and this is why so many people are expecting so much from this game. People are expecting somewhat of a similarity to a Witcher uh, for the Cyberpunk game. No, they already even said it themselves. No, do not expect it to be a similar route or a similar case. We can even see why. And it makes sense in, in some uh, scenarios anyway, right? Maybe not, maybe not to some others, but Maybe people just simply want a Watcher 3 uh, Cyberpunk spin on it. Well, that's not going to be happening either. But like, I think that's actually a good thing. They're making so many risks and you can actually only praise them for it. And when they are developing such a big and amazing games, it seems like, and so far it's been going for, I think that we should be hyped up for it. Now, obviously, I'm not telling you to go and oh, go crazy completely. No, you have to keep your reality on check and then your expectations on check. That's quite important, mind you. And I don't know how uh, they will, how will this game will turn out to be. Now, I don't think anybody knows. And uh, I'm sure and I'm very positive about it that it will turn out to be fantastic. It's going to be hitting those masterpiece reviews, 10 out of 10. Like, I'm not saying 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. I'm saying 10 out of 10. See, the expectations are still there, and I'm expecting a lot from this game. And I want to love it, and I want to play the hell out of it, and I want to enjoy every single moment of it. And I'm sure there's a similar case for so many of you out there as well. Now, I don't know, uh, as well, I can't really speak for many of all of you, right? Maybe you have different expectations, maybe you are, you are frustrated because you didn't get enough information about this game as well. But rest assured, because we already know the release date, April, we closer we get to that release date, we will find out more information and more gameplay and more trailers for this game as well. I would even argue to say maybe somewhere January, December, in fact, that's when all the new good stuff will be popping in. Marketing. Marketing is quite important. The only time that they have only showcased their game wasn't during summer. During the summer for, well, second year now, and as I mentioned already, right, at the end of the August we will find out more information. So that's awesome. Personally, I cannot wait. And more gameplay on top of that. Not just information. Information is nice and all. But gameplay I personally want to see. And we will, and we will finally see it. And that's awesome. All right, well, then the other thing, well, I should say the last thing, as we get closer to the release date, just make sure, keep your expectations on check. Well, I know it's very hard to do, especially with this game, but still, personally for me, I personally cannot wait. All right, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Tell me down in the comments what do you think. Are you 
expecting a lot of good things out of this game or do you have your expectations on check? Like, tell me down in the comments. All right, well, I'll see you guys all and have an awesome day.